During World War II, the German military created an aircraft unlike anything seen before, the Messerschmitt Me-323 Gigant, giant. It was the largest land-based transport aircraft of the entire war. The impressive cargo carrier boasted six engines with counter-rotating propellers and a wingspan of over 180 feet. It could airlift 130 troops or over 25,000 pounds of payload, including tanks. The Me-323 primarily served the Deutsches Afrika Corps and the German Eastern Front until each and every last one of them fell to enemy fire. Today, only one complete wreck exists, but it is in a place few can reach. Operation Sea Lion. While preparing for the proposed invasion of the United Kingdom, codenamed Operation Sea Lion, German military planners believed that they needed a large assault glider to ferry troops and supplies across the English Channel. Although the existing German DFS-230 glider had been useful for the Battle of Fort Eben Emile in Belgium, it was considered too light and small to play a role in the desired attack on the British Isles. The design could only accommodate 2,600 pounds of cargo. To launch the invasion from France across the English Channel, the Third Reich needed aircraft that could carry vehicles and heavy equipment onto the British coast. Due to the extensive damage that the German Navy received during the invasion of Norway and the loss of aircraft during the Battle of Britain, Operation Sea Lion was postponed in September of 1940. However, the Germans were almost entirely settled on invading the Soviet Union by then, with plans for Operation Barbarossa being drawn. Therefore, the need for heavy transport aircraft remained. Prototypes On October 18th, the German military ordered the Junkers and Messerschmitt companies to submit their respective proposals for an enormous transport glider within 14 days. Aside from the transport role, the aircraft also needed to be assault-ready. The Germans expected this new vehicle to be able to carry 88mm guns and their half-tractor or a Panzerkampfwagen IV medium tank. Junkers created the Ju-322 Mammut, which was developed all the way to the prototype phase. That aircraft project was cancelled because it was made entirely of wood and used high-grade timber that was difficult to obtain. The prototype had a single flight, where it underperformed and revealed it was too unstable. Messerschmitt proposed a more capable aircraft that designers initially designated ME261W. During development, it was eventually renamed the Messerschmitt ME321. The massive glider would be used for transport in Africa and along the Eastern Front, but it would never be used as an assault craft. 200 airframes were built, but the unpowered design proved insanely impractical. To fly, the ME321 had to be towed by three BF-110 twin-engine fighters and even then, still needed to be assisted by rocket boosters for takeoff. The flight configuration was incredibly dangerous and resulted in the worst aviation disaster in history at the time. The ME-323 The design patterns for the ME-323 were rooted in its predecessor glider, the ME-321. One of the recognizable features that carried over was the installation of six engines, based on the experience of the BF-110 low planes. Three of these went under each wing. An important decision during the development of the plane was the focus on limiting dependency on the strained German military industry. Since German factories were already busy with piling engine orders for bombers and fighters, the engines for the ME-323 were sourced from France. By then, the French were under German governance, so the aircraft were fitted with gnome Rhone radial engines. The first ME-323 aircraft were slow and not as responsive as intended. Work had to be carried out on the wheeled landing system and on the defensive armament without significantly affecting the fuselage. The original ME-321 glider design had only incorporated a disposable undercarriage that dropped off the plane as it climbed airborne. Once completed, the Messerschmitt 323 could be compared to a flying whale. It could carry a hundred soldiers inside, or a tank, or a giant caliber cannon, or even medical patients with staff and machinery. The payload could go up to 12 tons. However, carrying this maximum weight required the use of the Walter HWK-109-500 for Stauthilfe rocket-assisted takeoff. The fuselage was held up by steel tubes while the wings were made of fabric-lined wood. The wood was used to reduce the overall weight. The aircraft counted on multiple 7.92mm caliber guns or 13mm MG-131 machine guns, depending on the model. Despite this defensive armament, the plane was not agile at all, and was therefore vulnerable to enemy attacks. 
Throughout production, several different models were developed. After the initial ME323D1, an E1 version was introduced with two HDL-151 turrets with powerful 20mm cannons on the upper wing surfaces. Subsequent designs saw improvements to aerodynamics and a change to Junker's UMO 21 1R engines. No official production count for the ME323s exists, with sources contradicting each other, mostly because several ME321 gliders were refitted into powered ME323s. Estimates range from around 198 to 210 aircraft. The most astonishing fact, however, is that none of these planes survived World War II. The Deutsches Afrika Corps The Messerschmitt 321 and now the ME323 gave Germany the feeling that they could command the skies forever. Well, this was not true. The largest land-based transport aircraft ever made did provide them with exceptional service during the war. The two main fronts where it was used were the Soviet Union and Tunisia. The battlefront in North Africa seemed ever-changing, with Axis forces and Commonwealth armies constantly flipping in victories. The German supply lines went from Italy to Malta and ended in Tunisia. This route was particularly challenging because Malta was still a British colony and served as a takeoff point for attacks on German air or water convoys. In response, the Luftwaffe regularly bombed Malta, but the resilient territory never fell to Germany. As Germany's efforts in North Africa began to fall apart, ME-323s were sent in swarms with manpower and munitions from Sicily. Their introduction to the Tunisian campaign started in September of 1942, and their role in the Mediterranean theater followed in November. The Deutsches Afrika Corps came to rely on the equipment delivered by the ME-323s since Axis ships kept falling to Allied attacks. Adolf Hitler insisted on reinforcing and supporting his African army despite clear signs that the Tunisia campaign would mark an Allied victory. Unfortunately for the Germans, the glacial speed of the ME-323 led them to the same bitter fate of their ME-321 gliders. British fighters took them down like flies, even when the ME-323s were protected by escorts. The massive size of the aircraft led to its eventual downfall, as it impeded pilots from carrying out maneuvers to avoid enemy fire. Although the large wood and steel combination made for a sturdy body that could withstand considerable enemy fire, the long travel times meant that the aircraft was exposed for too long. The aircraft machine guns and cannons were effective countermeasures to a certain degree. They were limited to short range, and aiming was not always the easiest thing to do. The Mediterranean Sea absorbed many of the humongous German transport planes that tried to cross it. Even though vessels had proven to be too vulnerable to British and Allied fire, the ME-323 proved to be even more at risk of defeat from air-to-air -air fire. Estimates point out that around 15,000 metric tons of military equipment were delivered to Tunis and the Bizerta port between the end of 1942 and April of 1943, with approximately 1,200 trips from Italy to Tunisia. Some of the machinery delivered included over 300 trucks, more than 200 medium-sized guns, over 300 light guns, and around 100 ground combat vehicles. The Destruction of the North Africa Fleet The Holy Thursday Massacre came soon after the Palm Sunday Massacre, where the Axis powers lost between 123 and 157 Junkers Ju-52s. The sequence of events marked a significant loss of Messerschmitt ME-323s on April 22, 1943. A fleet of 27 of these land-based transport planes were successfully intercepted by Allied fighter planes. The German Air Force was trying to resupply the Tunisia effort by sending fuel-loaded transports and a few fighter planes across the Mediterranean. The formation of ME-323s was in the company of Ju-52s and some other aircraft, but halfway through the journey from Sicily, the ME-323s set a course for Cape Bon, against the original orders they received. To this day, it's unknown why exactly the group leader opted for the change in route. The majority of the escort and fighting aircraft remained by the side of the Ju-52s. Rather than the initial 104 protectors, the large group of ME-323s was left with only 36 fighter companions. Despite those 36 protectors, the choice to separate from the Central Air Convoy made the transport planes easy targets. When they learned of the incoming enemy, the South African Air Force sent 38 P-40 Warhawk fighters along with the Spitfire Squadron. Some British and Polish Spitfires also joined the chase. The opposing aircraft met over the Gulf of Tunis, and the Allied fighters almost wholly obliterated the German transport aircraft. 
22 Messerschmitt ME-323s fell into the Mediterranean Sea. Most of the ME-232 fleet on that front was gone in a matter of hours. These losses were even more significant when paired with the constant downing of ME-323s. Ultimately, the Luftwaffe withdrew the Messerschmitt ME-323 aircraft from the North African front and redirected them towards the Soviet Union. Although this was considered a prudent strategic move, considering that Northern Africa would soon entirely be claimed by the Allies, it was perhaps done too late and with much of their aircraft force depleted. By the end of the war, not a single one of these planes survived. The Luftwaffen Museum der Bundeswehr hosts only a wing spar from one of them in its permanent collection. The most complete wreck known to exist was found in 2012 in the Mediterranean Sea by La Madalena. The rusting giant had been downed by a British brow fighter in July of 1943 while on its way to Pistoia. Now covered in algae and coral, the last Messerschmitt ME-323 is decaying slowly underwater. Thank <laughs> you.